Hello and a very warm welcome to this tutorial series about the Hive 2 synthesizer version 2.1. In this episode I talk about the overview about the synthesizer, the presets and some settings. But uh, let's get started. <laughs> So this is the Hive synthesizer and the sound of the Hive synthesizer and in this episode I talk about uh, this area here, the uh, above area, the global area maybe, let's, let's say it. And the first thing I'm doing is um, I click somewhere in the free range on the logo here with the right mouse button. Now I can uh, switch to another theme. Um, uh, default, the default is just two themes, the original, this one you see right now, and the ISMO or ISMO theme. I usually like to work with this one, so um, I stick to that. And then you can um, configure the zoom of the plugin. And since we just mostly working on this one. I uh, zoom in here, maybe let's try 200%. And now you see it really clear what I'm doing now. Okay. This um, is uh, the Hive 2 synthesizer and version 2.1, as I already told, with a right click anywhere on the free space, you can get this menu where you can um, configure the zoom size and uh, change the theme. So first setting is here the voice mode and the voice mode you can set with a click on here with a left click to poly, moni, legato or duo. And poly is you can play um, several notes at once. Mono you can only play one note at once. Legato is um, when you play in mono, this is mono legato, when you play in mono you and you switch from one finger to the next, from one note to the next, and um, do this in a legato style, so the, the note doesn't end, the first note doesn't end before the second starts, um, the whole uh, envelope just continues instead of um, getting a new attack. In duo is you can just play two notes one time. And with poly you can set here how many voices you want to set up to 16. <clears throat> on the most, on every um, uh, knob or uh, region where you can configure something, you can use um, also the mouse button, uh, the mouse wheel. So if I just use the mouse wheel here you now, you see I can switch between the different um, settings, poly, mono, legato, duo. And you see as well in the display here that every time when I change something, it shows me what I'm changing and which um, area I am changing this. See voice voices, like five, four, and so on. Then this is the transpose um, setting where you can um, put a transpose on the uh, on the completely Hive 2 synthesizer. With the left click, you can open this menu and just select um, the half tone you want to go, or you um, scroll with the mouse wheel again, and you see as well how the setting changes, the numbers are changing, and which setting you are changing right now. This is the fine tune, this is um, in 100 cents between the half notes. So between every half note, half note you are playing, you can uh, fine tune or detune um, with 100 cents. So on the display itself, I put this more in the middle of the screen. Display itself. Here's the name of the preset I have loaded. You can go back or forth. 
to um, the different uh, presets. This knob tells you if you if there are any MIDI messages coming in when I'm pressing a note, right? I did right now. This one is when you change the tuning. So at the moment we have um, half half tones, half steps. Uh, uh, configured but you can change this in maybe like in a, in one octave like only four steps or 20 steps or whatever you like but this is uh, a topic for another video and here you can see the cpu usage of this preset when i'm playing it if you click on the left mouse button you see all the um, presets um, I search this pref preset so you see the um, search result and you can just switch between uh, the search results. If you are not searching, just going into one um, uh, cat category, uh, you see the whole category. If I do a right click, I can init the whole patch. So it's just on edit mode, you, then you hear only the sawtooth in the beginning and that's it. Here you have um, the undo and the redo button. And before I go any further, undo redo should should be uh, you should know that. Before I um, go further, if I right click on such um, so such fields or knobs or anything, I always have this lock um, setting. And this lock setting is if I put this fine tune on twenty nine right click on this knob and put the lock on it. So this is lock and if I change the preset, for example, this setting will stay. So if I uncheck the locked and change the preset again, so this jumps back where it was and this you can do with every setting you see here. You can just take somewhere and Put a lock on it so you can be sure that the setting what it what it did maybe what you wanted to have um, will stay even if you switch the presets so now talking about presets there's a preset button and before i um, click on this preset button there are some uh, things to know because if you right click on the preset button you get a pop-up window with set as default view because if you click on the preset button, you get all the presets and you start in a in a um, in a view in a default view and you can change this if you just select another view, you can uh, click right click on here and set this view you are actually in as the default view, and another button is the save button, and uh, with the save button there are some things you can save your preset your changes what you did and everything and if i right click on the save button you have several options here you can save your um, your patch your preset in a native um, hive native format or in the h2p format on a h2p extended format the differences between these formats um, uh, are explained very well in the manual and since this is the VST3 plugin, there's uh, something else with, with the VST2 plugin because there you have a, a fourth setting where you can save this patch or this preset in a contact file format like NKS. And you can tag this uh, patch if you're not, uh, if you want to put some more information you're not uh, uh, if you don't like what what the setting is here you can just add here something and take additional um, hashtags <laughs> tags for that okay and let's go a little bit further this is the UE logo and if you click left or right on it you get this pop-up where you can visit the home page. You can load the user guide PDF. You can load the docs folder where the user guide PDF is in there and some other technical um, manuals. Uh, you can go to the support forum to uh, KVR audio. 
um, and all the socials in here. And you can install a sound set. You can buy sound sets and other presets for um, the Hive 2 synthesizer. And this is the way to install them. And finally, here is the settings um, option. And if I click on that, you, you see that the um, Hive 2 changes in color. And uh, this setting is predefined, so this is the MIDI learn. So if I um, go now on any uh, on any knob or, or, or configuration, I could um, assign a MIDI controller to that. Um, and for that, I have to do something else with uh, this knob in here because I can define now I go a little bit down in zoom mode I can define a MIDI table and uh, there's a pre-definition in this MIDI table um, and I can add some new definitions down here with the add button if I click on that then there's another uh, line and it says not assigned if I click on that I get the whole um, knobs and configuration details of the Hive 2 synthesizer where I can, for example, get the LFO2 and I can say, okay, with the LFO2, I want to be able to change, for example, the rate. And um, the rate I, I can change is on MIDI channel 1 and on uh, the MIDI CC control change one as well and this i can change with holding down the mouse and just moving it around so i can set it to whatever like midi cc5 or something then i can configure the mode this depends on the knob or the the field you are changing if it's normal and integer fine or octaves or semitones and um, you can configure the type of your MIDI controller, encoder, fader, or whatever, what it is, um, that you can read in the manual of your MIDI controller. Okay, let's do make this back, go back on here. And the last setting is this one. Ah, wait, there's another one. Per instance control, there are pre-controls like the CC2 breath controller and 11 expression. And these are um, mapped by standard to control A and to control B. These are some modulation um, sources that you can um, use, in the, uh, use on your synthesizer, but this I will show you in a later video. And this is the last setting. And on this setting, you can just um, change some stuff for your <laughs> for your synthesizer, like mouse wheel raster, scroll horizontal, default size. You can change here the default size. I have it on one hundred twenty percent, so it fits really good on on my screen when I started, like this. And let's make it a little bit bigger, like this and like default skin the original skin gamma a little bit darker brighter really bright and text anti-aliasing and some other things like audio versioning when you're saving a preset saving presets to a user folder scan the presets on startup and some base latency control a control b you see it again the breath and the expression midi control slew is fast and uh, x y auto assign this is something really nice because um, hive has uh, four x and y pads and if a preset doesn't use them you can just um, uh, predefine them with one click so you have uh, some modulations ready on your XY pads but that is as well something for a later video. Okay let's go to the presets and there you go with the preset. So I search now for this preset and I cancel this search 
Can't cancel that. Maybe put a blank in here. I don't know. Okay, that works. Normally you start like with something like that or this one. I don't know really. And um, the whole the whole preset browser is uh, divided in several things. Like here you have the directory. This is the local directory with all the banks like bus polysons, monoliths, and so on. You see it and you know it. Uh, all those names. Then you have the user uh, area where you can uh, save your own um, patches and presets. Then you have the search history where you can um, save some searches like all presets leads the road or something else. Then um, you have the different banks, so the different banks from the different um, software versions from the from the Hive, like 1.0, 1, 1.2, 1 uh, 2.0, 2.1, and so on, and best of, and something like that. And there are a lot of presets in it. Then you have a, um, an area where you can collect your favorites in here with color and with numbering. Then there are some ways to search for presets with uh, categories like bass, acoustic bass, and so on. So you can find your presets very quick. And the same for uh, drums, uh, sequence, arps, and so on. Then uh, uh, with the features like mono, duo chord, percussive, very dry without effects, soft attack, slow release, and so on, glide. Then the character, like bright, dark, constant, soft, aggressive, thin, natural, synthetic, and so on. Then um, with the author name, if you like the presets from some authors. And then you can switch over to the text. And there you can um, just click on like I want to search for keys and the keys is for, you know, like piano and the features is like chords and you see the um, there are uh, less presets then when you find it you can just can just play it and with the cursor keys up and down you can change the presets. Okay. And on the right side you can see uh, preset info and that you can figure here on the uh, hamburger menu on the right side. Show preset info, show text. You can see the text here as well. So. I always find that very useful to see all the thing, things that, that are um, packed with the presets. So maybe I uh, can remember when I click on that, I already see like, okay, categories like pets, soundscapes and so on. Now I have to change the zoom size again a little bit, like 120%. And here you have um, with every pre preset, you can, if you have this one, there are some effects available. And on the lower right side, you have bypass effect. So if this is the um, preset, I click on off. Maybe this is not the best one. Maybe this, there's a reverb in it. Now we click it off. without effects, with effects. For example, so you can always hear what the effects are doing and you always can switch off the effects with one um, knob in the Hive X itself. And down here you have the XY pads where you can see what effects or what um, what modulations you can do with this XY. So you see uh, uh, the width, the wavetable position, filter cutoff, filter resonance, envelope decay, envelope release, reverb delay, and chorus and phaser. 
And that you can do with every um, preset. Let's see, change the speed. Go another one. This one. For example, okay. And um, on every preset you select, like for example this, you can um, click uh, the right mouse button. And now you can uh, mark this in one of your favorites, for example. You can mark it as junk, so it disappears from this list. And you can click on show junk, so you see everything that is that you marked as junk. You can select all to do something like putting in your favorite or marking it as junk, deselect it. You can rename it, you can copy to the, your user folder. Um, don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. Then you can show it in your in your file explorer, in your file manager. You can convert it to um, the other preset format, and you could uh, you can really delete it. So it's a way if you really don't like one preset, you can delete it completely. So that's I think the whole overview of the main bar, and maybe I explain. Um, the Hive 2 synthesizer and this overview in short. So this is the global menu where you just all do the global things like the uh, global output and stuff. I think I didn't explain that. Then you have um, the Hive synthesizer with the Hive in the middle and everything is mirrored here. So you have here oscillator 1 and sub 1 and you have sub 2 and oscillator 2. The same goes for filter 1, filter 2. Amp 1, mod 1, LFO 1, LFO 2, mod 2, amp 2. And uh, function 1, shape A, shape B, shape C, shape D. Function 2, okay, the, here's shape C and D. Not 2, <laughs> not shape A2. And then down here, um, it's not mirrored anymore, but here you have like your um, key configuration, some things with the vibrator or pitch bend module. Um, you have your uh, modulation matrix matrices. You have your modulation sources like velocity, pressure, poly aftertouch, channel aftertouch, gate. Um, constant and so on and here you have the xy pads where you can do some modulation with that and um, over here you have the general um, configuration how hive sound should sound like a very clean sound normal sound or dirty sound that have has always uh, has also influence in the cpu usage so this is the Hive 2 synthesizer. It's a really nice synthesizer, a really great synthesizer. Um, I think it's very underrated because a lot of people are using some very popular synthesizers, but this synthesizer has really some great features under the hood and I hope I can show you in the following videos. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, leave a, a um, a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, 
comment helps me very much. Maybe what you want to know or maybe what you know about the Hive synthesizer. And this is part one of a 10 um, episode series about the Hive synthesizer. So I hope you're doing well. Um, stay healthy and hope to see you soon in the next video. See you and bye bye.